Hello! In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a surface from a CSV file in Revit using the Environment plugin. The Environment plugin for Revit was created to help landscape designers or other site planning professionals avoid complex and repetitive actions and to make the design and modeling process more efficient and fluent. First, I will demonstrate how to export a CSV file containing the relevant information from a CAD file. If you already know how to do that, you're welcome to fast forward to the next stage. So my CAD file is already linked to my Revit project and I acquired the true coordinates from the survey into the project and I rotated the project north to make the view more convenient. To export a CSV file, I will work on Civil 3D, but this command also works on AutoCAD. The CSV file we want is basically a table containing information of the elevation points. To each point, three parameters, X, Y, and Z coordinates, or northing, easting, and elevation. So first I will isolate the desired layer to make it easier to select. In my case, this is these text blocks over here. And on 3D you can see that they have no elevation. So the important thing is that I have the information. The elevation point, in my case, will be the value of the text box. Next, I type data extraction, create a new data extraction, and I hit next. Now, in this stage, I have to save a DXE file. It's not the CSV file that we want, eventually. And I'm going to use the option to select object in the current in the current drawing and select all my text blocks. Hit next. You can see it selected text blocks and next. Now I have all the values that can appear in my table, but of course I only want three x, y, and z. So I'm just going to deselect all of them. except from the position X, position Y, and in my case, not the Z, but I want the value of the text blocks. And once I finished, I hit next. Here, this is a preview of the table that I'm gonna get, so I want him to combine, uh, combine identical rows, but I don't want him to show count column or name column. I hit next and output data to external file CSV in our case and just select the location that you want the file to be saved on. Click save, hit next and finish and if you go to the file you will see that the CSV file is in its place. Moving back to my Revit project, I will first demonstrate importing the CSV file with the messing and site command so we know the difference between the two commands. Here in the messing and site tab, top of surface, create it from import and specify point file. Now I go to the location of my CSV file, select it and click open. And now you can see that Revit have a warning. Important topo surface points are located a large distance from the model and might not display properly. Points will be centered on the model instead. So basically Revit tells us that it's not located in the right coordinates. If it's important for you to work on true coordinates, you have to do it another way. So now let's go to the environment tab, to the side panel, and just select surface from file. Now we do the same. We go to the location of the CSV file, select it and click open. And now you can see that it's located properly. And of course you can edit the surface just like we would edit any other surface. Thank you for listening. If you want more information on the environment plugin or more tutorials, you're welcome to click on the link below.